Hey everyone, Jack Wallen here. I want to offer up my take on which Linux desktop is best suited for which type of user. GNOME 3, or GNOME Shell, was much maligned when it was first released because the developers made a drastic paradigm shift from GNOME 2. In the end, the developers created an elegant desktop that is the best at getting out of the way of you doing your work. GNOME 3 did away with visible panels, desktop launchers, and unwieldy system trays that took up screen real estate and served as distractions from keeping you on task. To make up for these subtractions, the developers created GNOME Extensions, which can extend the functionality of the desktop to suit your needs. This makes GNOME the perfect Linux desktop for creators. Whether you're a developer, a designer, a writer, an illustrator, a musician, or a creator of just about anything, GNOME should be your desktop of choice. You'll find GNOME as the default desktop in Ubuntu, Debian, Arch Linux, and other open-source Linux distributions. As well, GNOME can be installed on Linux distros such as Linux Mint. Admins need an open-source Linux desktop environment that is all about efficiency. KDE offers a desktop metaphor that is as easy to use as it is familiar to anyone who has used any Windows operating system user interface, up to Windows 7. But KDE is much more than a simple Windows knockoff. It comes with a number of unique features, including global edit mode, night control panel, and desktop widgets. But KDE is not as locked down as any Windows interface. With KDE, you have a good deal of control over how the interface looks and behaves, so you can make it as complicated or as simple as you like. One of the best things about KDE is its speed and reliability. This isn't the KDE of old, where you always felt like it would crash when you were trying to work. KDE is now as reliable as any desktop environment on the market. You'll find versions of KDE available for Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Arch Linux, and other Linux distributions. For all these reasons, KDE is the ideal desktop for admins. Deepin Desktop is a special kind of open source desktop because of its focus on aesthetics. When you get your first look at the Deepin Desktop, you wonder if you've either discovered an operating system from the future or a work of art. It's that gorgeous. No other Linux desktop environment or window manager on the market can come close to the artistic wonder that is Deepin. But Deepin Desktop isn't just a pretty face, as it includes a few very handy GUI tools, such as the Deepin Control Center, which serves in the form of an always-ready desktop sidebar. With a single click, the control panel slides out, where you can take care of nearly any configuration for your system. And even that control panel is a thing of beauty. So, for any user who likes their Linux desktops to be stunningly beautiful and highly functional, your first and last stop should be on the Deepin Desktop. The Pantheon Desktop is the open-source desktop environment for Elementary OS. Of all the Linux distributions on the market, Elementary OS is the standout for new users. A big reason why is the Pantheon desktop environment. Pantheon is one of the most elegant and simple-to-use Linux desktops. Users of all skill levels should be comfortable using the graphical user interface. Many Linux desktop environments are criticized for including too many bells and whistles, causing new users to freeze up in confusion. Pantheon, on the other hand, is as bare-bones as you can get while still being full-featured and functional. But don't let the idea of bare-bones turn you off. Pantheon includes everything you need to work, including a beautiful alert system, an unrivaled app center, a quick access calendar, and more. Add to that an exceptional beauty, and you have the makings of the perfect Linux desktop for new users. This is why my default answer to which Linux distribution is best for new users is, without fail, elementary OS. So to every new user out there, Pantheon is the Linux desktop environment for you. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.